Hello everybody, so we're just about a week away from May the 4th, which means we'll most likely be getting some more images of new LEGO Star Wars summer sets. So before that happens, I just wanted to make a quick video just to recap what we know so far about this upcoming wave. So here's a list of pretty much all of the sets coming out in this summer wave. So this list is provided by Promo Bricks, and I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But let's just work our way through it. So starting off, we have the 2021 Advent Calendar, and that's set number 75307, with 335 pieces and retailing for $39.99. So nothing really too special here. They've basically done this every year um, for I don't even know how long now, but it's been a while. Moving on, so we have the UCS RTD2, set number 75308, with 2,127 pieces retailing for $199.99. And this one has actually been revealed already, so I'll put a picture up on screen if you're not already familiar with it, but it's coming out on May the 4th, it's going to be like the main UCS set coming out. It looks really cool, but personally I don't think I'm going to pick it up, I just don't really see the appeal for me personally as a collector, but I am still glad that they're releasing this set just because I know a lot of people have had trouble getting their hands on the old one from 2012, and the prices have just kept on going up. Next up, we have the Ultimate Collector Series Republic Gunship, and that's set number 75309, with 3,292 pieces. So this one will be retailing for $349.99, and I don't believe this is going to be coming out alongside the other sets in the summer wave, like in the August release date. I think this one's going to come out in the fall, that's what I heard, but nothing set in stone until LEGO confirms it. We do know a little bit about the scale of this ship. So we know that the cockpit pieces are going to be made out of these pieces I'll put on screen now. Um, I guess that gives us a little bit of an idea. We know it's going to be big. LEGO also said it was going to be really big. We're going to need a big spot to display it, which is exciting. I think that's what the fans want, and I'm really glad that they're going to kind of follow through on this one. So next up, we have the Mandalore Throne and Vault, and that's set number 75310 with 147 pieces retailing for $19.99. So I'm personally really excited about this set because I want to get my hands on Ahsoka and Maul, which are rumored to be the two minifigures in this set. Um, I also really like the idea of having like a Mandalore throne because I don't think we've ever gotten that, and I think it's a pretty cool design. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I know it's not going to really be a display set, but I still like the idea of them like taking this dual series they've been doing and kind of putting it towards something that the fans have really wanted. So moving on, we have the Imperial Troop Transport, and that's set number 75311 with 478 pieces, and this one's going to be retailing for $39.99. So I believe this set will be modeled after the one in the Mandalorian, which means that we're probably going to be getting some of those characters. I would assume we're going to get a Scout Trooper, because in that scene we did see like Scout Troopers chasing the, um, the Troop Transport. I mean, I want to say we're going to get like a speeder bike, but thinking back to the... Uh, the Razor Crest that came out earlier in the year. I don't know, like, they didn't include it there, and that was, like, a more expensive set, so I just don't see them doing it for this one, unless it's kind of like a really wimpy build for the troop transport. But, I don't know, we'll have to see how things pan out, but that's just my thoughts on that. Next on the list, we have the Slave 1, set number 75312, with 592 pieces, retailing for $49.99. And I think this is one is going to be more midi scale, like just looking at the piece count. I think it would be pretty fair to say that we're probably going to be seeing one that looks pretty similar to the one from the Master Builder series Cloud City set. I think this is a pretty smart move for LEGO, just because we just had the Mandalorian Season 2, which featured the ship for a few episodes. And then coming up, we're also going to be having the Book of Boba Fett. And knowing that we might be getting a trailer in like late June, early to mid-July... I think that when this set comes out in August, there's going to be like a lot of hype building around the Book of Boba Fett, which means that this might just fly off the shelves. So I think this is a smart move for LEGO, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. Next up, we have the Ultimate Collector Series at, -AT and that's set number 75313, with 6,782 pieces retailing for $799.99. So we always knew we were getting a $799.99 set. But previously we had thought it was going to be like a Death Star 2, kind of like the previous version in the UCS line. But I kind of like the idea that they went with an AT-AT. It's something they've never done before. And I think it is a set that we've always wanted. Like, even if we haven't been, like, banging on their door for it, it's something that needed to happen for LEGO Star Wars. Like, it's one of the most iconic vehicles. If they didn't make it in their UCS line, like, what would they be doing? I'm happy this is coming out, and I can't wait to see it. 
So next on the list, we have the Bad Batch Shuttle, and that's set number 75314, with 969 pieces retailing for $99.99. And I don't want to talk too much about the set, because we've already seen it, and we kind of already know what's happening. There's going to be two speeders, the ship with kind of a weird build, the colors. I know some people like it, uh, some people don't. And the figures, so I'm not going to talk too much about this, I'll just put the picture on the screen and let it speak for itself. So moving along, we have Moth Gideon's Cruiser, set number 75315, retailing for $159.99. And this set, for me, is probably the most hyped one of the year. I'm so excited for this. I personally don't own any of like the big like cruiser sets, like the old Venator or Star Destroyer or anything like that. So I think this is going to be a really cool addition to my collection, and I just can't wait to get my hands on this. This is going to be a day one buy for me, for sure. So next up, we have the Mandalorian Fighter, set number 75316, retailing for $59.99. And I'm excited for this set as well. It's most likely going to be based off of the Mandalorian Season 2. I know it was also featured in the Clone Wars Season 7, but we've seen what LEGO's been doing, and they don't really care that the fans want Clone Wars sets, and they'll probably just gravitate towards the more popular Mandalorian show. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm really excited for the set too. It's probably going to look pretty similar to the old one at that price point, but I still think it's going to be a good thing to remake because I know that the prices are shooting up through the roof for this one, and I'm excited to see what they can do with it. So set number 75319 retails for $29.99, and we have no idea what this one is going to be. I want to say that it's going to be like another like big battle pack like the 501st battle pack or 501st legions clone trooper set whatever you want to call it um but i don't think that's what we're gonna see i think we're gonna see another mandalorian set i know that's i think that's what mnr production said and some other youtubers said that too so i do think that that's what's gonna be happening with that and i also find that a little disappointing because i really liked what they had going with the 501st battle pack it's been one of the most popular sets of recent years and i just can't believe it. it's like they're like throwing away all this money that they could be making i don't know if they want to i don't really know what they want to do with this but but um i feel like if it does turn out to be a mandalorian set unless it's really good i'm gonna be pretty disappointed that they didn't like take that take that set and make it into like um, another bigger battle pack so the last set on the list is Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber, and that's set number 75369. I heard that this one was rumored to be an 18 plus set, which I'm pretty excited for. I like how they're like really enhancing this 18 plus lineup and kind of marketing towards an older audience, which I think is a really smart move for them. Like the older people are the ones that are going to have the money to buy this stuff anyway, and they could probably make it a little bit more expensive knowing that that's their audience. But anyways, guys, this is going to do it for today. I think we should be getting some official, like, release dates and, like, pictures or something. We're going to get something May 4th. Like, I just have a feeling, and I've heard it from some other YouTubers. Maybe we'll also get something for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, which has been just a mess. Like, it's been delayed. I don't even know how many times. And, um, I just, I can't wait to see them get back on track. Like, I feel like this is a strong wave. I think it's definitely a lot stronger than previous years. And I think that they're going to make a comeback. Like, personally, I think that they have what it takes in this wave to make a comeback, and I'm really excited to see what they can do with it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this and what you think of the wave in general. Would you make any changes if you were in charge? Anyways, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.